Meghan Markle once jokingly threatened to move to Canada if Donald Trump won the election. Now she's giving him the cold shoulder. Meghan Markle won't be present when Prince Harry and Queen Elizabeth host President Trump and First Lady Melania for brunch at the palace. A schedule for the Trump's state visit to the UK has been released, indicating that the former Suits actor and Hillary Clinton supporter won't attend. Meghan remains on maternity leave following the birth of her and Prince Harry's first child, son Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor, earlier this month, according to Fox News. It means the former Suits star will avoid shaking hands with the US president, whom she called misogynistic and divisive in 2016. Before she married into the royals, the now Duchess backed Trump's Democrat rival Clinton during the 2016 election. Markle said at the time, I'm voting for Hillary Clinton, not because she is a woman, but because Trump has made it easy to see that you don't really want that kind of world that he's painting. Meghan, 37, also joked that she would move to Canada if Mr. Trump won. Queen Elizabeth will host the Trumps at Buckingham Palace on Monday, June 3rd, with Prince Charles and Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, among those in attendance. The Trumps will then dine with the Queen in a private lunch and artefacts viewing, followed by a tour of Westminster Abbey and a visit to the grave of the unknown warrior with Prince Andrew. Prince Charles and Camilla will then have tea with the Trumps at Clarence House, with the evening concluding with a state banquet at Buckingham Palace, where President Trump and Queen Elizabeth will each deliver speeches. It may be an uncomfortable meeting for Prince Harry, as friend Selena Scott told Express that President Trump once pursued Harry's late mother, Princess Diana. He bombarded Diana with massive bouquets of flowers, Scott alleged. She became increasingly concerned. It had begun to feel as if Trump was stalking her. On Tuesday, June 4, President Trump will have meetings with newly resigned Prime Minister Theresa May. On Wednesday, June 5, the Trumps, Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Charles will attend a celebration of the 75th anniversary of the D-Day landings. Before going public with her relationship with Prince Harry, Duchess Meghan called Trump misogynistic. And so vocal about it, adding, I'm voting for Hillary Clinton, not because she is a woman, but because Trump has made it easy to see that you don't really want that kind of world that he's painting. Meantime, Harry's former close friend Natalie Pinkham claims the royal has ghosted her since he tied the knot with Meghan last May. A source told The Sun that the TV presenter who was snubbed from the royal wedding was quite rightfully miffed. She has known Harry for years and was not only his drinking buddy, but his confidant, the source said. They were super close but it was purely platonic. When Harry got together with Meghan their relationship rapidly changed and just went flat and noticeably cooled off.